Hello students, welcome to the program. The topic chosen for today's program is Role of National Council of Education, Research and Training NCERT with special reference to secondary education. The objectives for the lecture are to know about the establishment of NCERT, to know about the organizational setup of NCERT, to know about various constituent units of NCERT and their function. Dear students, secondary education takes place after primary education and may be followed by higher education or vocational training. In some countries, only primary or basic education is compulsory, but secondary education is included in compulsory education in most of the countries including India. High school is a grade of education from standards 9th to 10th and these two grades are also called secondary school. Usually students from age 14 to 17 study in this section. These schools may be affiliated to national boards like CBSE, ISC and NIOS or various state boards. There are various organizations at national level which assist and advise the central and state governments on academic matters related to school education. One among these is NCERT. The National Council of Education, Research and Training is an organization set up by the Government of India with headquarters located at Sri Aurobindo Marg in New Delhi to assist and advise the central and state governments on academic matters related to school education. The NCERT was established in New Delhi on 1st September 1961 for providing academic support in improving the quality of school education in India. NCERT is an autonomous organization which assists the Ministry of Education in the formulation and implementation of its policies and programs in the field of education. Among this, the significant contributions of NCERT are revamping of elementary and secondary teacher education curriculum, reorganizing of student teaching and evaluation, focus on continuing education of teachers through establishments of centers of continuing education, then recognition to contribution to education by outstanding school teachers and teacher educators through a scheme of national awards. Dear students, let us understand the organizational structure of NCERT. The general body of NCERT called the council is headed by the Union Minister of Human Resource Development as its president. The members of the general body include the education ministers of all the states and union territories, chairperson of University Grants Commission, then the secretary to the Government of India, MHRD, Department of Education, then four vice chancellors of universities, one from each region, the chairman of Central Board of Secondary Education, the commissioner of the Kendriya Vidyalaya Sangathan, the director Central Health Education Bureau and members of the executive committee of the council and nominees not exceeding six nominated by the government of India. Not less than four of them shall be school teachers. The secretary NCERT is the convener of general body. The main governing body of the council is its executive committee with the union minister of HRD as its president. The members of the executive committee are director, joint director, 
and secretary who are appointed by government of India. Functions of the council are looked after by the director, joint director and secretary. Then three deans. The dean academics coordinates the work of departments of the National Institute of Education. The dean research coordinates the research programs and looks after the work of educational research and innovations committee and dean coordination coordinates the activities of the service production departments and the regional institutes of education dear students let's have a look on constituent units of ncert and their function the ncert with its six constituent units has been serving the cause of qualitative improvement of school education since its inception in 1961. The major constituent units of the NCERT along with the tasks they accomplish are number one National Institute of Education NIE New Delhi. The NIE's activities are mainly confined to undertaking research and developmental activities related to pedagogical aspects of curriculum and undertakes experiments in preschool, elementary, secondary and higher secondary stages to support all round development of the child. Then conducting short term, long term courses and organizes in-service training of key resource persons and teacher educators for capacity building and implementation of centrally sponsored school improvement schemes. Then publishing and dissemination of programs. Then develops prototypes of science kits which are in fact mini laboratories for schools. The non-formal education for out-of-school children, early childhood education, education of disabled and programs for the educationally backward minorities. NIE works through its various departments, divisions and cells. Some of them include number one, Department of Elementary Education, addressing the issues and problems related to elementary education of both school and out of school children. Second, Department of Education of groups with special needs, addressing the issues and problems related to education of scheduled caste, scheduled tribes, minorities, disabled, and other groups with special needs. Third is the Department of Education in Science and Mathematics, addressing the issues and problems in the education of science and mathematics. Number fourth is National Institute of Education, NIE Workshop, working for the development and prototype production of school equipments in the form of kits. Number fifth is Department of Computer Education and Technological Aids. It functions as the National Resource Center for Computer Education. Number sixth is Publication Department. It works for publishing school level textbooks, instructional and supplementary material, journals and research monographs. Then dear students, the divisions of National Institute of Education. These include number one, planning, programming, monitoring and evaluation division. Its functions include formulation, monitoring, evaluation and implementation, budgeting, preparations of annual reports, periodic reports and return to MHRD. Second is International Relations Division. Its function includes promotion of international relation with 
educational institutions in other countries, serving as an academic secretariat for the National Development Group. Third is Division of Library, Documentation and Information. Documentation of educational information providing library services is its main function. Now the units of National Institute of Education. Number first is Department of Women's Studies. Addressing the issues, concerns and problems related to education of girls and women. Promoting women equality and empowerment. Number second, Journal Cell. The cell of NCERT brings out a wide variety of publication such as research literature, school textbooks and educational journals. Third one is International Relation Unit. The NCERT's international cooperation ranges from working with United Nations institutions like UNESCO, UNICEF, etc. to assisting third world countries. Number fourth is Navodhya Vidyalaya Cell. NCERT is also concerned with the issues and problems regarding the educational setup of all the Navodhya Vidyalas across the country. Second unit of NCERT is Central Institute of Educational Technology, CIET. CIET came into existence in the year 1984. It's a premier institute which contributes significantly to the field of educational technology. Main functions accomplished by CIET are first, the CIET is concerned with the development of educational technology, mass communication media and extend educational opportunities to improve the quality of educational processes, practices and outcomes. Then orientation of teachers and teacher educators through ADUSAT, teleconferencing on various aspects of educational technology and other content areas. Then CIET holds programs to build competency of media personnel for development and utilization of various educational software. The institute disseminates its software through broadcast and non-broadcast modes, through telecast, broadcast and simulcast of its program through various channels like DD Bharti, Gyan Darshan, Gyan Vani, etc. The third constituent unit of NCERT is Pandit Sundar Lal Sharma, Central Institute of Vocational Education, Bhopal. It is one of the constituent units of NCERT, an apex level research and development institute in the field of vocational education in the country, established in 1993. Some specific functions of institute are ensure the uniformity of pattern in the context of national system of vocational education, then study and monitor the educational requirements of the country as a whole in regard to preparing human resource development and catering to the needs of research and other studies. Promote excellence at all levels of various types of vocational education programs both formal and non-formal throughout the country. Then fourth constituent unit of NCERT are Regional Institutes of Education, RIE. The Regional Institutes of Education at Ajmer, Bhopal, Bhuvaneshwar and Mysore have been functioning as a regional resource centers for school and teacher education and striving for academic excellence, innovation, professional competence, commitment and the sharing of experiences and expertise to improve the quality of education in India. These RIEs cater to both the pre-service and in-service teachers, teacher educators, education needs of the state 
and union territories under their jurisdiction. Number first, the Regional Institute of Education Ajmer. RIE Ajmer was set up in the year 1963. It caters to the educational needs of northern regions comprising the states of Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab, Rajasthan, Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Delhi and the Union Territory of Chandigarh. As an advanced and pioneering institute of education, it tries out innovative pre-service courses and promotes research, develops instructional material and imparts training to in-service teachers in various school subjects and the related pedagogy. Second is Regional Institute of Education Bhopal. RIE Bhopal, since its inception in 1963, caters to the educational needs, pre-service and in-service of teachers in the states and union territories of West region. These include Chhattisgarh, Goa, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Dadar and Nagar Haveli, and Daman and Dio. It provides need-based training, reviving their literature, suggesting modification in their work, and support in terms of capacity building and joyful learning to school functionaries in western regions of India. Third one is Regional Institute of Education, Bhuvaneshwar. RIE Bhuvaneshwar, established in year 1963, caters to the educational needs, pre-service and in-service education of teachers of Eastern region, including the states of Orissa, Bihar, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Sikkim, Tripura and Union Territory of Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Fourth one is Regional Institute of Education, Mysore. RIE Mysore established in 1963 extends technical and academic support to southern regions including the states of Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Union Territories of Lakshadweep and Pondicherry. The RIE Mysore has been striving for academic excellence, innovation, professional competence, commitment and sharing of experiences and expertise to improve the quality of teacher education. Fifth constituent unit of NCERT is the Northeast Regional Institute of Education, Shillong. N-E-R-I-E, -E, Shillong, was set up in the year 1995. It caters to only the in-service education needs of Northeastern states like Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Sikkim and Tripura. The institute aspires to emerge as a leader in the field of school education in the northeastern region by playing the role of a proactive organization. Sixth constituent unit of NCERT is Educational Research and Innovation Committee, ERIC, at New Delhi. ERIC of NCERT funds research programs taken up by scholars, both within and outside the council. It holds periodic conferences of educational research workers, having funded publications of surveys of educational research in India earlier it has now taken upon itself the task of compiling such research volumes as well. Dear students, we conclude that NCERT is an EPICS resource organization set up by the Government of India 
to assist and advise the central and state government on academic matters related to school education. The NCERT offers the pre-service and in-service training of teachers at various levels through its five regional colleges of education located at Mysore, Ajmer, Bhopal, Bhubaneswar and Shillong and also in such areas as vocational education through Pandit Sundar Lal Sharma Central Institute of Vocational Education, Educational Technology through Central Institute of Education, etc. Dear students, NCERT aims at bringing about improvement of education through various kinds of educational technologies. It's a major step taken for the development of school education, which involves teacher education also. My dear students, I hope you have understood what NCERT is and how it is helping the secondary school level. I hope you enjoyed the program. Thanks for watching.